guys, it's Lisa, and today I have my top 14 of 2014. So I might be a little behind with this video. I do apologize, but I'm going to go ahead and get right to it. These books are in no particular order because I could not rank them at all. I am just going to go ahead and go through the list. So the first book is The Sea of Tranquility by... Kaja Millet. This book was so suspenseful for me that I could not put it down and when I finally got through it I was sad that it had ended. It was one of my favorite books of 2014. The second book is Altered by Jennifer Rush. Who does not love four hot guys who are genetically enhanced? There's action, there's a little bit of romance and suspense and it was a book that I could not put down. The third book is Arson by Mia Asher and as you guys know this is a book that tore me to pieces. I will go ahead and link the full review that I did for it in the comments down below. I'll go ahead and leave it in the description bar down below and as much as I hated the book at times like I was like are you serious with this chick and everything. I loved it. I cried, it emotionally broke me, and it's just a book I recommend to everybody when I hear that they haven't heard it before, heard about it, or read it, or anything like that. So it was one of the tops. Number four is The Theory Heart by Rochelle Mead, and I love everything Rochelle Mead writes. Everything. Everything that I've read from her, she's never really steered me wrong. With Fury Heart, it is the fourth book in the Bloodline series. It is a spin-off of the Vampire Academy. And at this point, Adrian and Sydney are just I don't want to spoil anything if anybody hasn't read it before, but if you have, you guys know what I mean. The way this book ends is so heartbreaking and I do own Silver Shadows, but I still have not picked it up, and that's just because I didn't want to be waiting so long for the Ruby Circle, so that is the reason why I waited off. It is a book that I will be reading at the end of this month, close to the end of this month, the beginning of February, because that is when the Ruby Circle will be coming out. Bully by Penelope Douglas is a book that was recommended by my friend Gabby, who has never steered me wrong when it comes to recommendations. She is the person that recommended Arson to me. She's also the one that recommended Bully and I loved it. The Jared and Tate's relationship was just amazing and I love the books after that like every book in the series and if you haven't read it I think you guys should pick it up. The next book is by Amy Harmon and it was so hard to pick between it because I read three of her books in 2014 and I know a lot of people read Making Faces and they loved it. I'm not an exception to that. I am not an exception to that. I loved Making Faces, but I read Running Barefoot by her and that book was just amazing. It was beautifully written and I really enjoyed the story and the growth of these characters that start off with the main character Josie being like, 10 or 12 or something like that and just seeing her evolve in her 20s all the way till then and I just really enjoyed it. I mean Making Faces is amazing. It you know, was one of my favorites for that month as well when I read these books but I know a lot of people talk about Making Faces so that is one of the reasons why I picked Running Barefoot because I think it's a book that people should read. Be With Me by J. Lynn who is also Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the second book in the Waiting For You series. I liked the first book and the 1.5 novella, but there was something about Chase that I loved. I I think it what endeared me to him was that he was a father. And then there was Teresa who, you know, we met before. Teresa being Cameron's little sister, who is also Chase's best friend. You know all these complications take place. And I love the growth of these characters. I did give it a 4.5. It was my favorite in the series. And I think as a whole, the series is amazing. I think everybody should read it. I mean, Jennifer L. Armentrout is an amazing writer. If you have not read any of her previous books, y'all should do that as well. If Only by A.J. Pine is one of the favorites 
for 2014. It was a book that I got as an ARC and it did not disappoint. I love Jordan's experience with studying abroad in Ireland and the experiences that she went through and the growth. And I love that the author gave me the choice to go ahead and read her second book in this series where I got to see a lot of the old characters again and I really appreciated that. I have had great interactions with her. So I just think her books are amazing. It was a great story and I really enjoyed it. Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover was amazing. I love the way that music and reading went together with this book. It is a book that I read with my best friend. Friend Sharon over at Magnificent Books. I know she hasn't made videos in a while, but we still talk and everything. So I love that we read this book together, especially with the things that were going on in our lives at the time. It was just very endearing and it was an amazing story. And if anybody has re read anything by Colleen Hoover, they know just how amazing Maybe Someday is. The 10th book is Collide by Gail McHugh. This book I read it in a point in my life where things are not going so great and it helped me escape real world for a little while and I love that about the story. It does get a little gritty but I did enjoy it a lot that I immediately picked up the second book in the series and if you guys like those kind of new adult books it's a book you guys should check out. Indestructible by Angela Graham. This is the third book in the series. I like the whole series as a whole but the third book is my favorite one. I don't want to give too much away because it is the third book in the series but at this point Logan and Cassandra have been through so many bumps in the road that I'm happy that they finally find a happy medium and are together. Nightborn by Lynn Beal. This is the third book in the Lords of the Dark End. This is a spin-off. I loved that the main character in this book is a character that I had not met before in the Dark End world. He is, you know, part of the Jardin and everything like that, the whole society, but I like that it continues the story of them looking for these jewels that will help them in a certain thing that I don't want to spoil for anybody if somebody wants to pick up these paranormal romance books. I loved, I had forgotten how much I love paranormal romance. I forgot how much I enjoyed Lynn Beale's writing and these books just sucked me back in. I love that a lot of the old characters from the previous series, the the, uh, the Darken series is what the original series is called. I got to see them again, especially Alexandra uh, Keller, who was one of my favorite characters in the series. She's actually in the first book, which is If Angels, if Angels Burn, I think is what it's called. I will leave it somewhere here, but I love that she is still involved with the society and everything like that and I just loved it. Friend Zone by Belle Aurora. This is the first book in the Friend Zone Friend Zoned series. I laughed a lot with this book. I love the attitude. I love the relationships between the friends. Like the girlfriends were amazing friends to each other and the guys were had amazing bro romances with each other. So I loved how even though a guy and a girl were being a couple, like they could all hang out together. I really enjoyed it. At first, I was afraid that I wasn't going to like the main character because she was a little too bubbly for me, but she redeemed herself and I loved it. I remember giving it five out of five stars and I became a fan of Bella Aurora's writing that I picked up a lot of her books as many as I can. Rusty Nails by Alice Clayton. This is book two in the cocktail series and I loved Wallbanger. It was one of my favorite books of 2013. It was funny or sarcastic and Rusty Nails does not disappoint. We have Simon back again with his naughty naughty ways and I did give it five out of five stars. So that was the 14 books of 2014. There is one more that I wanted to add as an honorable mention, which was Midnight Awakening by Laura Adrian. In the month of like October and November, I wasn't reading, but I was listening to audiobooks. I was um, rereading, I guess you can say, the Midnight Breed series. I wanted to pick up book 
11 or 12 and it had been at least I want to say a year and a half maybe two that I had read the series and I just wanted a refresher so I was listening to the audiobooks and Midnight Awaken is book three in the series it is my favorite I totally enjoyed Tegan he is such a bad boy he's such the outsider in this brotherhood but he still wants to be there for him and I love how he grows and he evolves and forgives so it is one of my favorite books in the series I love the series as a whole but Tegan's book is one of my favorites and if you guys like paranormal romance I think that's a series that you guys should check out so yeah these are my top 14 of 2014 have you guys read any of these books that I mentioned let me know in the comments down below you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon Bye!